Hello everybody, my name is William and today on my channel I'm going to be showing you how to clean a bowling ball the right way you want to do this. You don't want to do it with water or anything like that. Like people say, do it with water. You want to do it with a good spray and a good towel and that's how you clean your ball is the right way you want to do it. As you can see I got some bowling ball cleaner. It's made from the tack up, yep, that's the way you say it. And I also got a microfiber uh, bowl, uh, ball cleaner, a uh, microfiber towel. Today we're going to be cleaning my Roto Grip. It's a wrecker, it's a good ball. This thing helps me. This thing had about eight games, and I got this for about $70, $80 at least. And I got a plastic ball I'm going to do as well. Uh, this stuff you want to do really about maybe a daily basis. You want to clean your ball at least a daily basis. You do not want to keep your ball oiled because then it's not going to have a good hook reaction. It's not going to have a good lane reaction. So before you have practice, match, tournament, league, anything you want to call it or anything you do, you want to clean the ball, you want to get that oil right off the ball so it has a good uh, hook condition and it has a good... Um, ball reaction as well. I bought two hands. Uh, I use two fingers, no thumb. I uh, get a good rev rate. And this thing here picks up a lot of oil on the lane. When I looked up the side of my ball, I saw I have a lot of oil. And I was like, oh crap, I need to clean my ball. I had a tournament on Saturday. That did not go well. That actually, it sucked. Because I had oil on this and I didn't have this yet. So what you want to do, alright, thumb hole, finger holes. You want to have down so no no cleaning supplies would get in and and you know mess up the glue on the ball. You want to get your spray, spray your ball, <coughs> get your towel and clean it. Now right, you want to wipe it. Once you wipe it, once you look at your ball, it looks just like you just bought it. And that's what it's feeling like. It looks like as well when I'm wiping it as well as my ball. Okay. If you get something like a blue towel as a Brunswick or microfiber, you will see how much oil will come off this ball. This ball gets a lot of oil on it. You want to, you know, take care of it really, really well. Okay, then you're going to get your finger holes, your thumb holes. Looks like some spray got on that as well. Alright, don't spray your thumb hole, your finger holes. That'll mess up the, uh, the grips that's actually in the ball. So, and it'll also take the glue out of the grips and it'll dry it up and it'll fry it. So when you go throw your ball... Your grips will just come out right on your fingers, and you do not want that. And the ball won't do good as you're releasing it with your grips on. Okay, so ball number one complete. I'm gonna get my flat. My phone's got a flashlight, and yeah, this thing looks awesome. Got a lot of good oil off of it. it looks brand new. So, I'm going to practice with this tomorrow. A little bit of um, oil on here. Alright, and then just wipe it off as normal. And it just comes right off. So yeah, spraying your ball, cleaning it, it's what you want to do. If you don't spray it, your ball is just going to, it's going to hook early and it's going to get a bad reaction with the pins. You don't want that. Had that on Saturday and it sucked. Alright, ball number two. It's my plastic ball. Ow. Hit my freaking finger. Smashed it. This here as well, two fingers, no thumb. Doesn't have a hook to it. So, that's good. You don't want to have a hook with the plastic ball, especially with your 10 pin spares and your 610s, 3 six tens, everything like that. You don't want to have a hook with it. Unless you want to create a hook with it. Okay? 
Now this ball is brand new. I just got this ball on a Thursday. And this is brand new. So I'm going to spray this as well because it also gets a lot of oil on it. You want as to, as, as I'm spraying it, I, I'm seeing a lot of oil oh, on the ball. Alright, and just go ahead and scrub it. Now when I went to my tournament on Saturday, I used my plastic ball for my 5 pin spare. People are saying no, you don't want to use plastic ball. I want to use it because I just wanted to get used to it and try it out. And I'm going to get used to it this week. So if I make it for my tournament, because we have to have both roll off on Thursday to go to that, then, then I'll take this with me. It's my good ball. It's my babe. I love it. Alright. Alright, fingers. Like I said, two fingers and a and no thumb. If I wanted to throw it one hand, I'm only like to chuck it down the lane. He's that old oh, oil oh, oh, up. But this is a good ball. Make sure you don't get any thumb hole, your finger hole, because I can screw it up. I can that your it would screw up your ball big time. Alright, finger grips, everything. This thing here doesn't have a thumb grip in it. I want to put a thumb grip in it, but I did not. Okay, as I shine the light on the ball, looks so shiny. When I tried it out, people that I was playing against, they're like, ooh, that's pretty. And yes, it is a pretty ball. Looks like the ocean. Alright, so this will go back in the the uh, bag as well. Next ball I have is my red hammer ball. That's how I use for my spares. I had to take this as backup just in case anything didn't go well. So, as you can see, a thumb hole. Um, I like this because I can good, you know, get a grip with my thumb and hold it as I throw my ten pin spares. This thing I'll chuck down down uh, this thing I'll chuck down the lane. I'll just chuck it. And it'll roll and it'll hit the 10 pin almost makes me want to almost kill it, but no, I don't want to kill a 10 pin. Alright. Red. Alright. This thing here has a lot of oil on it. I didn't you know, this thing is old, it's 21 years old. You can see it's old scratch and bound up. Love this ball. So love it. Oh yeah, a lot of oil on it. Yeah, that's a lot. This here's an Angie ball. Good ball as well. It's a good bowling ball. Love it. It's an Angie. Well, it's probably an Angel. Angie. So yeah. This ball here is a good ball. I love it. Bowled with it ever since I actually found it in my garage when I lived in Arizona. I also have pool videos, so if you also want to go check that out as well. Just go on my channel and there you go, you got it. Alright, and then, yeah, and then we got oil. I got a little bit of grease on my thumb hole, near my thumb hole, but not on it. So this is a good ball. So yeah, if you have any pools here in Ohio, Arizona, go ahead and check out my videos. Um, they're really awesome videos. Gives you tips on how to clean your pool properly and keep it clean and testing your pool as well. So yeah, you want to go ahead and you know check that out. There's no links in the description. Just go on my channel and you see the video of my pool. So. Yep. So yeah. 
That's it for today. I hope you loved this video. Give this a thumbs up, subscribe, and comment of any other videos you want. I'll be keeping you posted. Have a great night, and see you next time. Peace.